the cabinet's been plugged in and now it's booting into the OS which is Pi Play. I went with that over Retro, Pi, Retro Pi as if we've already done that in a group in the last class so I figured I'd go with something different. Now my wife's going to demonstrate how the controls can navigate the entire menu free of a keyboard or mouse. Now she's going to pick a game, control button, and select. She's going to go to her favorite. Can you hear sound? I don't know if you can hear it on the video. Speakers will be added in a future iteration. And now just watch. My wife might cry because she died that fast and she is very confident in her Mario skills. Alright, well uh, we demonstrated that it works even if the user doesn't. So now we'll exit. What button did you hit to just exit? The there escape. So now she's going to pick another system. She's going to go back. Again, using the arcade buttons for everything. She's getting a little ahead of herself. I think she's nervous. Okay. My captain is waiting. the first two green buttons. The left one is your left punch. The right one is your right punch. If you don't hold left, you'll hit him in the gut sometimes. Hit him now! Alright, that's good. Show us the escape. And now we'll show you the inner workings. Now we're looking at the insides. You can't see this part on the other upside down, but I do have a picture of that showing you how that's wired. But all of those go to this device right here. It's called the mini pack. It's an interface. It takes the buttons and converts them to basically keyboard presses. And then that runs from a mini USB into the USB in the Pi. And then here we have our HDMI to VGA dongle that goes into the monitor. Now this mini pack has room for extensions. You could put two players on there conceivably. Eventually we're going to wire directly into that.